Hey guys, it's Nanania, and I am back with more Nanania's Nightmare. We are playing DLC level 2, Double Decker. Now for loadout, I've got Crossbow with Fire Arrows. I've got Wind Belt with Force Choke. Spring Traps with Flip Heavies. Brimstone with Heat Up Faster. Push Trap with Further. Void Wall with Skeletons. Portal, New Trap, Portal with Coins. Dwarves with Bleed. Mana Rage Trinket. And Decoy with Reappear. So, so lots of water empty. elementals in this one, the new enemy water elementals. They don't start out as big elementals though, which means they are small light enemies. Very susceptible to physics traps, and that's what we're going with here. Where I'm pointing now, is there's a secret skull, so you can jump in there, get your skull, and jump back down, and we're gonna go to the bottom of the double decker. Push traps in here because they push for two squares and the minecart will take care of a lot of the other enemies there. So here we got our void wall again and I'm just gonna drop a decoy so I don't forget it. Now, always, 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 I cannot stress it enough, be at the top every wave. At the start of every wave, you wanna be on the top. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> push that Nolan. Hopefully you get a skeleton. I didn't. Get those coins with the wind belt. But yeah, you always want to be on the top of the double decker. Oh, we got a frost ogre. Frost troll, as fried egg would say. Fried, fried egg. Da, da, da. Hopefully you'll get a skeleton here for him too, but I didn't. Okay. Like I said, you want to stay at the top. I know it's tempting to go put traps down there, but don't do it. Stay at the top for a little bit. You've got time. You got a decoy down there. It's all good. You want to try and kill this wave before you move to the next one. There is a knoll down there beating up on your decoy. So hurry, hurry, hurry. Wind belt him through the wall if you can. We saved our decoy's life there. It's very, very good. Timing is everything. Get some more springs down. Once we have the money, we'll start putting portals a half square behind the springs that we currently have. And then we're gonna put another row of springs behind the portals, just in case. Then we're gonna have dwarves um, on top of or a little bit behind those springs. Wave three, heading to the top. No portals here really sucks. Um, this is the only bad part of this strategy that I can find is the running. Lots and lots of running. Physics traps just wreck these little guys. And the wind belt with the, the abyss, perfect. It's perfect. Line up for me, please. Now you can see we've got two knolls coming up top, so I'm just sitting here waiting on them. There they are. Just pick them up, throw them in the void wall. Pick them up, throw them in the void wall. Run down here, wind belt through the wall again. See, this decoy died. So, we're actually gonna stay down here, sell this decoy, put it down again, and then head back up. It's a cheap and easy way to get your decoy back. And you can see I have the portal selected. We're gonna put some portals down because we have ogres in this wave. Two ogres and some gnolls, some gnoll grenadiers up top. And we cannot a delightful kill those unless they, you know, get lucky with the spring traps. So we want to make sure that we can portal them back to the entrance. And I get unlucky here. And some other things take care of my portaling which is very bad. Luckily, the bottom is kind of on lockdown at the moment, so I don't have to worry too much about it. Is that crossbow stun on the ogres and these elementals? Now you shouldn't get elementals like this. And that's because the physics traps in the void walls should kill them for you. And the great thing about the void wall is they don't like leave a puddle I know. once they go into the void wall. That's very, very, very good. It's a great tip, great knowledge to have. 
so many a lot of people want to be able to combo the water elementals though they are great for comboing so if you want to do that you know this strat is not for you this is not a high scoring strat at all i was just struggling with a way to get five skulls on this map and this gets it for me consistently and it's a pretty easy strat tried some other ones with uh, a lot of fire traps and things like that to burn down the elementals more, and it was all right more, but more. I mean thinking out of the box is great and all but if it doesn't help if it, if it doesn't make things easier what's the point right so I, I undid all my Clear traps my and I, I was like let's just uh, start from scratch what can work here and this is what I came up with. I also almost thought about taking the blade staff with the speed upgrade so I could get back and forth quicker, but I wasn't sure how long it actually lasted. So I didn't go with that. Crossbow was the right choice, I think. The stun is very, very invaluable. Down you go. Now I did take one bad trap, and that is the brimstone. There's no kobolds in this level. Uh, you don't really need brimstone. The problem with it, it kills the the, uh, the water elementals, and then they become puddles, and then you get big elementals, which you can't really deal with with this setup. So, take something other than brimstone. If you're a war mage, take tar. If you are a sorceress, I don't even know. I really don't Someone know. Lost their head. Line up for me, please. Now the reason I took dwarves was because they really don't do a lot of damage to the little elementals and the little elementals will run by them quick enough. But the ogres do a lot of damage. There's some armored ogres at the end of this level. I wanted to make sure I could kill those because springs don't work on armored ogres. They also don't work on large elementals which is good to know. Any large elemental, fire, earth, water, it doesn't matter. Here comes the mistake, I think. A delightful series of yep, tools. putting down the brimstone. And it's good that I do this, because now you guys will be able to see firsthand that, okay, this was not working for me. It was a bad choice. And, um, I'll admit my failings, it's no big deal. Better that you guys know that you can take a different trap. Right there, I think. You could even take like Rift Defender to have a 10 second stun, that would be great for this level. It would let you get back and forth oh, a lot easier. And remember, this is not a high scoring guide. This is just five skulls. I'm not sure. I think I have an idea of how to um, high score this map, but I don't want to say because I'm not sure if it is. The first time I did it on War Mage, though, I, love the I smell uh, of brimstone don't do this. Morning. Don't do it. I end up selling these. First time I did it on War Mage, I barricaded so off a lot and death. made a big kill lane, and it was working all right wasn't great. I died a few times. Here you go. See? See? That elemental should not be there. You shouldn't be here! Let's say Blue Mac. So we don't want that guy. There you go. Now you got a big elemental to deal with. Since he was stunned, the, uh, the dwarves got him pretty easily. Come on, die already. See, this is not good. Not good for your part time either. More death. More. More. And at this point in the game, I'm just like, oh, I cannot deal with these elementals. I've got to sell that brimstone. What a bad decision. So I'm staying down here to try and get the brimstone sold. I didn't take the brimstone thinking all right, I'll kill the puddles with it. I took it for the ogres and things like that. Come to me. 
I thought, all right, well, the portal, it's gonna portal them back, then they'll have to run through the brimstone again. Now, I didn't follow my own advice, wave nine, and I was putting dwarves down instead of being at the top, and that kind of hurts me, because now I've got three ogres busting ass for my dwarves. Not good. Not good. I'm in a bad way right now. But it is the last wave, so get that mana rage trinket. Losing all my dwarves. But that's alright. Get this guy down. Look at that wind belt juggle. Alright, downstairs. Let's see how we're doing. Decoy just died. Good timing. Now we just have to kill this bad boy. And we're all set. Oh, it looks like we got some little water elementals still. Take care of those guys real quick. And that's it. Five skull dance on the minecart. Ran over my leg, no big deal. Double decker down. 196, 841. Again, poor score. It's not a very good one at all. 10 skulls though, that's pretty nice. Let's check the leaderboards. Oh, look at the combat kills. Eight combat kills, hard to beat that. Hard to beat that. All right, not in the top 10. 25th. That's a bad score. Um, you'll be, I don't know, in, in a, a week or two, that would be in the thousands easily. Probably 2,000. So, doesn't matter. Five Skull Guide, not high scoring. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this gave you some tips to deal with the little water elementals. And I will see you guys in the next level the final level of the Fire and Water DLC, The West Wing, starring Martin Sheen.